Hello, the practitioner here. Bachelor of Science student, chemistry major, mathematics minor, magician, parapsychologist, technical agnostic, and Fortean skeptic. I liked Bill Nye's episode debunking pseudoscience. He managed to cover practically everything, with the exception, again, of ESP. He brought up, um, he, in his, he said that in his experiment to debunk ESP, he brought somebody over to cold read debunking astrology and tarot. That's good for professional psychic use. It does not, however, cover any of the experiments that have actually been done since the early 1930s, clean through to today. It doesn't do a proper debunk or a good job of debunking Rhine's work, the Otto Gansfeld, uh, the uh, previous, uh, sorry, the Gansfeld, the Otto Gansfeld experiments, um, Helmut Schmidt's work with, random, with uh, random number generators, the pair studies, the presentiment work by Dean Radin uh, and Rick Bierman. Um, oh God, what else is there? Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Um, the uh, Chocolate Intention, um, the, Glo the Global Consciousness Project. I mean, there is a whole slew of other uh, supposedly, you know, scientific studies out there. Some of which uh, have, you know, some of which are uh, have been and are still being, actually most of which are still being debunked rather competently by the likes of Ray Hyman, Michael Shermer to a certain extent, and Richard Wiseman. However, my question is, why was none of this stuff ever covered in this particular episode? Penn and Teller uh, devoted an entire episode to ESP in their show Bullshit. They did a debunking of cold reading too, and they themselves did not even they did a, they did a, did a substantial uh, a substantially better debunking of this. Um, for one thing as well, astrology is a separate claim from ESP. It is a um, it is a uh, it is a uh, pseudoscientific claim in its own right that requires a you know that requires an entirely f uh, separate uh, debunk as opposed to ESP. Um, and on top of that, my question is. Why have none of the popular shows like um, Penn and Teller Bullshit, The Eyes of Nye, the, um, the Bill Nye the Science Guy episode on pseudoscience, or any of these others gone into a reasonable, a reasonable quality level debunk of um, ESP and sci, uh, sci research? Why, ha why has none of that work actually been done yet? Um, so anyway, I guess that's my question. I mean, the BBC... Um, Dawkins did a reasonable uh, covering of that in his Breaking the Science Barrier. I mean, like, he, he said that, uh, well, I mean, he just did a classical piece which said all the proponent research was flawed. He didn't go into the methodology of how, uh, of how these flaws happen. Most of that stuff you only find on the Internet and in books. And so for the average person who doesn't have time to go reading that sort of thing, shouldn't there be a show episode, uh, um, shouldn't there be an episode specifically going into the the pitfalls of parapsychological research? I mean, if we don't, if we start going into categorization and making hasty generalizations, that could come across as critical thinking fallacies in a few cases. And to quote Marcelo Truzzi, the, um, uh, mind you, I'm paraphrasing here, the, um, the closed-mindedness and uh, the closed-mindedness to various claims um, and categorically denying open claim, uh, you know, categorically denying all extraordinary claims without taking a look at the evidence, could be more detrimental to science than all pseudoscientific claims put together. Or am I misquoting here? Anyway, um, I've, I'll find the specific article again and post it in the link here. But you understand my concern. If we're supposed to be uh, legitimately taking a look and we're saying extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, then in order to properly debunk a claim of ESP or psychokinesis, we need to take a look at the exact scientific evidence that actually is there, not just basically say there is, uh, you know, that some some people say it may not uh, come up. We saw a, a little bit of work of uh, ESP testing with Zener cards in the background. That was just a demonstration. Why not go into further debt? Why not go into further work about that, explaining where Ryan fucked up? how his statistically significant levels, despite the fact that he even got a, a few which um, were not attributable to chance, were um, slowly dwindled as he put new controls on, and even those which uh, would, and even those which maintained themselves despite tighter controls being put on, were never replicated, uh, at least for Zaner card testing by any other scientist. You want to talk about uh, issues pertaining to fraud and misuse of science, let's talk about the three cases. Count them three cases of, of fraud that have been used in parapsychology. One of which was by a successor, uh, uh, Professor White, who was um, a, who was going to become a successor to uh, to J. B. Rhine. Um, the Sol Godny experiments over in Britain, and one scientist over in Austria 
who screwed this up as well. Three counts in all parapsychology. There have been more counts of that in all the other sciences. Um, scientists in China faking the, uh, cl uh, making, su um, making uh, false claims that they had, um, that they had, uh, uh, you know, claimed, um, cloned stem cells, uh, uh, you know, that they had cloned stem cells. Um, I mean, there are plenty of other instances in, uh, in science where fraud has happened. Um, again, the pseudoscientific claims are false studies which were done. Um, the MMR incident, which made, um, which linked, um, mercury and vaccines to autism. Um, you know, I mean, let's take a look at, pro um, you know, the, if you're wanting to take... Like, if you're wanting to take a look at, at properly debunking ESP or lumping psychic powers in with all of this, then properly cover what scientific research has been done and debunk that on a case-by-case -case basis. Yes, I know it requires a full episode to devote to it. It may require a full three episodes to devote to it, um, considering the fact that the Penn and Teller episode, as I've already explained... Now, okay, I know I'm digressing and going off on Penn and Teller here again, you know, which I've already done in another video. But my point being is that Bill Nye is even more educated in science than, mo than our fellow, than our friendly debunking magicians, Penn and Teller are. He has a Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering. And for the most part, he actually knows what the physical laws are and can express in a greater degree of, um, and can express in a much greater degree what is actually happening in those cases. Therefore, might I suggest that he apply some of that to properly debunking um, or bring Michael Shermer back in a greater um, context for a couple of episodes to properly debunk ESP and psychokinesis uh, research in their own right. And that includes the random number generator work with, uh, with pair studies and the like. So, that is my um, seven minute analysis of this. I hope that has been uh, uh, a little bit, uh, I hope that's been relatively informative. Um, to Madre. Good work for putting this up and for bringing us um, the entire, uh, for bringing us the databases of Penn and Teller bullshit and uh, uh, the eyes of Nye. For the most part, they do really, really good work. Granted, Penn and Teller could, uh, granted, I think Penn and Teller could take an example from Nye and uh, resort less to their ad hominem attacks and the like. Um, you know, calling everybody assholes and that sort of thing. I think the, I think that, uh, I think that Bill Nye does a considerably better job on that. But I'm still going to criticize Nye when it comes to dealing with ESP and parapsychology basis that he has not done a proper debunk of, um, that, you know, he has not gone in depth enough to do a proper debunk, even a passing debunk that you would see in most popular work, uh, such as Michael Shermer's book, Why Do People Believe in Weird Things? Um, you know, I mean, half the debunks that are done there don't even go far enough. You only see that sort of stuff in other peer-reviewed papers, which criticizes the work from mainstream alike. Uh, and a few books there, to be fair. Um, Flim Flam does, an, uh, does a so-so job. There are a few things that could be improved there. But, you know, it's, it's a work in progress. But, you know, my point is that there's considerable amount more work that could be done here um, on these popular levels, stuff of which I think has been considerably overlooked in the process of uh, popular debunk. And I think, um, you know, I think, needs to be consider I think needs to be considerably better done uh, when dealing with pseudoscience. Basically, I'm saying I don't think we go. I don't think we go in depth enough or far enough in our proper debunks, in, in in debunking things on the popular level. Bill Nye, good to start off with. He does those things better than uh, than Penn and Teller. Penn and Teller, I think could you know, uh, I think could give uh, I think could, could give Nye an indicator. I think Nye could teach Penn and Teller a, a thing or two about proper debunking techniques. Um, you know, but anyway. That's just my po that's just my uh, point. I think that they're both doing some fairly good work. I think it's both works in progress. I think there is dramatic room for improvement, um, uh, you know. And I'm going to call them on it for where they can improve. But other than that, keep up the good work. Toodles.